Hi everyone, welcome back to Image Impact Instant. It's Michelle from Human Style. Today we are talking about the B of image, behavior. Now, everybody who thinks of image, remember they think about style and fashion, they think about A, the appearance. But it's my job to impress on you that your image is not just about what you're wearing or what people see, even though it's a huge part. It's also about the B, which is the behavior. It's what you are doing. And today I want to talk to you about a few of the overlooked behaviors that some women don't even know exist as being important to creating your image and creating a congruency with what they see, what you do, and what you say. Super, super important. So today let's talk about overlooked behaviors. And when I talk about overlooked behaviors, I'm I'm always talking about nonverbal behaviors. Nonverbal behaviors are things that you don't even know you're doing. They're body language cues. They're things that you're not even maybe aware of that you do in your life. They can be things like hand gestures, facial gestures, self-touching, eye contact. These nonverbal gestures communicate so much to the people that you want to connect and attract. And without having an awareness of what they are, it's really hard to control in your own body and then to modify or adapt them to be able to appear more open and communicative. So there's two that I love that I have to always discuss and let people know that you can change these tomorrow. The first is eye contact. I cannot tell you how important eye contact is. Eye contact sets up a connection between you and your receiver. Eye contact is so important that when you don't do it, people think you have something to hide. And so if you are in a meeting, if you are meeting someone for the first time, if you are at a networking event, if you are a speaker, eye contact needs to be at the primary top of the mind awareness for you to connect with someone, to build rapport and to build trust. Now, many people, they get at you about eye contact because they may not feel their own confidence in, their, in, in themselves. They may not feel their own value. They may not feel their own worth. And so that, that comes out as a nonverbal cue. Looking down, looking away, that's a problem because it keeps you separated from connecting to others. So here's a trick. If you want to make sure you make eye contact, but you don't want to look right in their eyes, look at their eyebrows, 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 eyebrows. Eyebrows work. They will never know you're not looking right in their eyes, but it allows you to connect with them. So eye contact. The second nonverbal communication comes because my dad was a dentist and it's to smile. Smiling is universal. It almost doesn't matter what culture you're from. A smile will lighten the mood. A smile will welcome someone in. A smile will do and forgive pieces of what you didn't know you didn't know. Smiling. And a smile isn't all the time natural. It's something you have to practice. So practice it. Those are two things that you can do. You can practice both eye contact and your natural radiating smile with a simple mirror. Next time you're taking your image impact instant in the mirror, look yourself in the eye or the eyebrows and smile. Get used to those muscles moving in a natural way to create a welcoming smile. And when you do that, what you'll notice is people will respond to you more quickly and with more magnetism. And isn't that the point for the outcome you're trying to make? Until next time, we'll see you real soon. If you need more information, visit hewinstyle.com and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.